Hey guys, another right dev here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add new realism to your Roblox games using Roblox's new wind and clouds features that affects particle effects, grass, and clouds in your game. So before we add the wind, let's go ahead and add some clouds. To do this, you can go to workspace and on terrain you can click plus then you're just going to search up clouds you can see some clouds are added into the sky so you can set the cover which is how much of the sky the clouds cover so one percent and the whole sky is covered by clouds and of course zero is no clouds and then there is the density so the density is obviously how dense the clouds are one density is the highest you can go and zero density is the lowest and lastly we have color so you can set the cloud color to whatever you want now one last thing before we add wind i'm going to show you guys how to enable this realistic grass in case you don't have it enabled already so if you don't already have grass enabled you can click on terrain and then just make sure this decoration box is checked you can see without decoration there is no little grass particles so now that we have everything we need let's go ahead and get to creating our wind so there's two different methods of doing this. The first method is kind of harder. So the first method to set the wind involves clicking on workspace. And then you're going to find the property that says global wind. So then you're going to click on this expansion box and you can set the wind um, X, Y, and Z axis. Let's say we want speed of 13, the X axis, speed of 13, the Y axis, which I guess wouldn't make sense because it's up and down wind, but I, I don't think that really happens. Um, but you can also set it on the Z axis as well. And you can see already the wind is changing directions and you can see the clouds moving as well. Now the easier way to set the wind is by going to the view tab and and then clicking on wind direction and you can see this little panel pops up you have the speed the yaw and the pitch as well and you also have this nice little rendering of like wind thing so you can see how the wind affects your game you can select the properties from speed to yaw to pitch you can customize all these properties let's say we want 10 speed and we want the direction to be this way and we can change the pitch which changes the angle of the wind so once you have something you're happy with you can simply close this and you now have wind in your game however unlike the smoke and fire effect particle emitters are never affected by the wind by default so if you want your particle emitter to have wind physics then this is how we do so in order to make the particle emitter affected by wind what we need to do is click on the particle emitter and we are going to find the property that says wind affects drag so now the wind will affect the drag but the particles are still not going anywhere as you can see so what we need to do is we need to set a drag for the particle emitter so drag is usually how much an object slows down over time so if we turn off um, drag affects wind and sets this to like 3.5 you can see the particles just basically completely stop but if we have wind effects drag then the drag is changed to how much it's pushed by the wind so you can see five drag and the wind just speeds off the particles in the space but if we have it at like 0.1 drag you can see the wind still affects the particles but not nearly as much. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on Roblox Wind. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for 2,000 subscribers. Um, I have a cool video coming soon where I make a Roblox VR game, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.